A little bit of breaking news. Uh, Xavi has revealed he will step down as Barcelona head coach. I've defended Xavi way too much recently. FC Barcelona is in a terrible spot and we need to have an honest conversation about Xavi, his team, and his future. And hopefully at the end of this video, we all have a little bit of a better idea about what our Barcelona manager situation should be moving forward. 16 goals conceded in five games. That is unacceptable. Sure, we can't exactly pin all of it on Xavi. There have been a lot of terrible player performances. Iñaki Pena, Frankie de Jong, Joao Cancelo, even Araujo and Koundé are at fault here. But at this point in the season, there's really only one person you can hold accountable for that. The manager. So should we sack Xavi? I don't really know because I don't know if Xavi is the type of coach who is good at experimenting. The team desperately needs experiments to succeed in the Champions League because honestly, that's the only competition that is realistically possible right now. And I'm not even saying to win the Champions League, just to make a run. Do something impressive. Give the fans something to hold on to and to hope for. But to do that, the side can't perform the way it is right now, so a system needs to change because these players aren't changing. However, I don't know if Xavi's the type of manager to be very good at experimenting. We saw in the Villarreal match the fact that Xavi left Robert Lewandowski in there until the 77th minute is outrageous and it's offensive. I, I, I don't understand why you play Robert Lewandowski that long. Robert Lewandowski shouldn't have even started that match and he needs to be benched. Maybe to play Ferran Torres through the center because we saw a lot of promising work from him or Vitor Roque or Mark Yu. Literally any of those options are great. Play Joao Felix through the center and see how that works for God's sake. Try something new. Something needs to change there. And then on top of that, maybe we could address the left back position too. Hector Ford is solid, but Joao Cancelo clearly is not ready to play there. So something else has to happen because Hector Ford can't play every match. So maybe when Rafinha comes back, you could try Rafinha there. He might not be the best defender, but he is solid defensively and he can't really be any worse than Balde was this season because Balde wasn't exactly a defensive marble and Rafinha is at least as good as Balde was going forward. I would say he's a much better crosser in my opinion. So it's, it's an experiment that could prove fruitful for this team, but it has to be attempted. On top of that, this midfield needs to change. We need a proper CDM. Okay, whether that's... Well, it's not Frankie de Jong. We've made it clear it is not Frankie de Jong. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have conceded 16 goals in five matches if someone else were there besides Frankie de Jong. So either play Romeu and don't sum him off at halftime or try Christensen there or maybe even give Mark Casado a shot. Something has to happen because what he's doing is not working at all. In Chavi's system, it does not work, okay? Frankie de Jong, Pedri, and Gundo all sharing the defensive responsibilities does not work. They are not good enough to do that, and it restricts all three of them from doing the best thing that they're good at. And get Fermin Lopez into this squad ASAP. He deserves playing time. He looks good, and he brings an energy the squad doesn't have, even with Pedri in, because Gundo is just too slow on the press. He can't do that right now. And Sergio, I'm not even going to mention Sergio Roberto. Fermin Lopez deserves minutes, and the fact that he isn't getting any is wild. And after the VRL match, it's clear we need to experiment a little bit with our goalkeeper. And Yaki Pena, whoo, one save, five goals conceded, okay? He's useless. He is non-existent on one-on-ones. And I'm, I'm sorry, Yaki Pena. I know it's a lot of pressure to put on yourself, but it's clear you are not in FC Barcelona, a top tier goalkeeper, you shouldn't be playing these minutes for this team. I'm sorry, you're just not good enough. And that's a fact. I don't like being so mean to these players, but he isn't there. So look, I know Astrolaga isn't amazing either, but he can't be much worse than Pena. That's all I'm saying. Ender Astrolaga, what, he's 19? Give him a shot. Throw him in goal. He's a little bit taller than Pena. See, what? what's the worst can, that can happen? Knock on wood. And the reason we need all of this experimentation and all of these changes is because there is potential left in this season. If we make a run in the Champions League, yeah, it's optimistic, whatever, it's still feasible. Napoli is terrible right now, okay? So are we. But Napoli's just as, if not worse, they're at ninth place in the Serie A. So look, we can beat them and then who knows who we're going to get matched up against next. We need a team, though, that 
has some optimism, has some excitement, has some capacity against decent opposition. And this squad, as it is right now in Chavi's system with these profile of players, is not good. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. We need changes, and either that's going to come with Chavi giving in and experimenting, like I told you, either with those profiles or potentially with a new system, or we bring in a new coach. Chavi out. I don't know. I feel bad because I think if we introduce a new coach into this Mets, it's a ton of pressure on him because everybody is already so inflamed and angry that I think it might be better to have it all taken out on Chavi, kind of let him be the dummy for it. And then at the end of the season, let somebody start anew. That's literally where this has come to. So all of this was recorded immediately after the match before we knew that Xavi was going to forfeit his job over the summer, no matter what happens, even if Barcelona wins the Champions League. So now that we know that, I'm actually more encouraged right now because I feel like that gives Xavi a little bit more leg room to play with freedom and coach with freedom. Maybe he makes more experiments and he tries a few different things out that he wouldn't have if he were worried about his job. But now he just really wants to set this team up well to perform next season. What he does this season isn't that important. And I literally think now he's turned himself into a martyr and will take all that risk, all the fire for the season out with him and let somebody to come in this summer without any issues. And I don't think the board will fire him after this. So I think it's actually a good thing. I'm not saying I think he can be experimental. I, I know it's feasible, it's possible, it's out there, but he's shown recently that he, that might not be him. He's played Lewandowski a little bit too many times for me to be confident in that being possible. But on the other hand, I think on new coach, it, it might even be worse because you don't want to throw somebody into this dumpster fire and just let them burn. So let, what do you guys think? Do you think Xavi's the guy? I don't necessarily no. Also, to be fair, I think Chavi will do a better job than a new coach will at managing these young players' minutes, especially Lamine Yamal. At 16 years old, he already seems to be being used a little bit more than I would like, and so hopefully Chavi gets a little bit better at that, even though we're seeing Lamine Yamal reach an incredible level right now. It's not worth risking him and starting him and playing him 90 minutes every single match like he has been the past three matches. Hopefully, Javi doesn't continue to do that, but I think Chavi will be smarter with that than maybe a less experienced, a coach who has not played as much as Chavi has would. Also, at the top of the description and in the comments below is going to be my second channel where I'm going to upload a little bit more casual videos like this one. I know this wasn't highly edited. I just had to pump it out really quickly. Uh, it's going to be more stuff like this or some tier lists and things like that. So check it out. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Visca Barca. Peace.